Hey, hey, how doing? Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree guide. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to skip Rolana. And this is going to be a legit skip. Okay, there's no glitches or anything like that. So, yeah. So, from the beginning, you want to, you know, basically make your way across the bridge right here. You won't have to find any bosses. And from here, there's actually a side path that I recently just found because everyone on Reddit. It's really like, I don't know if I'm just late to the party or what, but people are talking about the Rolana skip. Uh, and now I'm like, what the heck? So I explored around and you apparently can go around. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So this is going to be from the castle front side of Grace. And this is on my walkthrough character. So right here, you want to stick towards the right side. Okay. Uh, and then... You can just hug this path, and there's gonna be a drop off point, but you don't need like anything special to survive the drop off. You can literally just platform your way down, and the platforming's not really tough. You just make sure you don't jump straight down because that's gonna get you killed. So, from here on the very left side, or the right side, or left, our left, <laughs> the castle's right, uh, there's gonna be. A whole bunch of like these dropping points right here that just make sure you're like not falling from too high. Uh, but you can like fall from a surprisingly high distance in Elden Ring compared to like Dark Souls or whatever. But yeah, uh, there's another way of getting here. But this is just, I don't know, the quickest in my opinion. So. Yeah, uh, so once you get all the way down here, there's going to be a giant crab on the left and then a giant plant thing on the right. And then from there, you want to head on up straight over here. Okay, you can ignore all the enemies here. I'm not sure if I'm like stepping on those poisonous pots or someone's throwing things, but... Anyways, the point is, you want to come up over here and then once you see these two little plants, just come up here and then you're going to see a giant plant on your left. Go past the giant plant and we're looking for a spirit spring uh, this one's gonna be locked in your first encounter but there's a, a set of rocks or something like that that you can just break the spell with so see first encounter there's like the little stones that's on the side and you can't use it to jump so the way to unlock the spirit spring is you just come over here whack this thing and you're gonna get an indicator that says um, Somewhere a spirit spring has been unsealed. So now we can use this one to get up over here. And then once you get to the side over here, there's another one here that's just, you can just use this straight up. And it's going to take you to Skatu, Skatu Altus. Alright, and then right off the bat, there is a side of grace here. And you don't have to fight anybody here. Uh, I don't know why, but I chose to fight this omen dude here just to kind of test my skills or how it is. <laughs> uh, this is... Yeah. This character I barely started the DLC with, so... Um, I think, at best, my Scatter Tree Blessing is at level 2. So, yeah. The power of the Dex build. Or, I guess... The power of the patch, because <laughs> they force patched us. Uh, I was playing offline, and it's still like it still like made me do the most recent patch. So now I have it. Yeah, but yeah, from up there you can drop down. You won't die. Uh, you will take some damage. Uh, there is another side of grace here, so I'm gonna hit up all these side of graces so you guys can see. But at this point, we are past Lana already. Like, we already skipped the castle. So, yeah. Uh, coming out here, there is going to be a Ghost Flame Dragon. Uh, there is a map that we can get as well. So I'm going to hit that up. And then I'm going to get to the side of grace that you would be at. Uh, if you fought Relana. Relana, Rel yeah. That's her name. Um... But yeah, do know that you can't uh, enter the boss door from the back. So you have to actually go through the castle if you want to fight her. Because um, once you get to the side of grace that I'm going to show you in a bit, not this one, um, the one that I'm going to stop the video at. 
uh, you can see the boss door, but you can't interact with it. So, yeah, just just know that uh, this is not a way to skip towards the boss. It's just straight up skipping the boss. So yeah, uh, I I always thought that she was gonna be a required boss for you to kill, but technically I think there's only three bosses you need to beat to finish the DLC. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah I only recently found this out. So yeah, I, I that's why in all my other videos that I show going past this part, I said you have to beat Ronana because of this because I didn't know. She was skippable like this. So here's the map location for uh, the Scatu Altus. And from here, this castle that you're seeing up ahead, uh, that is where you fight Rolana. But you're gonna see a fog door there, but you can't interact with it. So, yeah, this is why I said this is not like a back way of getting to it. Because it is not, because you can't do anything to it. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. That is how you skip Rilana, and now you can explore Scatu Altus till your heart's content. And yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has helped if you want to skip the boss for whatever reason. And yeah, see, you can't enter the fog door from here. But anyways, yeah, uh, once again, thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope to catch y'all next time. Oops. Oops.